My mission for this video is that since I had to add custom configuration to PHP 7 because of the PHP 7 upgrade, I may also have to add custom configuration because of upgrading to PHP 7-MySQL, that package. It may have its own configuration files. Now, while in the pursuit of this goal, I discovered that this video here no framework php endeavor contains some key information about configuring mysql itself not the php 7 mysql package and it talks about how i was able to set it up so that i can use mysql workbench to access mysql on my production server so the question right now becomes, what did I do to my production MySQL package configuration to make it possible for MySQL Workbench to connect to the MySQL server on production? One change that I had made to my conf is I added these two lines, collation server, UTF-8 Unicode CI, character set server, UTF-8. And I added them after the skip external locking. I'm going to play this videotape and it'll show you where they go and what they look like. I'm going to do it off camera. Okay, there it is. Collation server, UTF-8, Unicode CI. Character set server, UTF-8. Here's another important piece of that videotape. Address. Okay, set to the loopback IP address. It talks about the bind address. Setting it to 0000 allows access from any IP address. Actually, Ron, we're going to do something else which allows access for the root account from outside of the machine, which means from another IP address. And I'm talking about root user of MySQL. Here the video talks about the directive log slow queries. Here you can see queries with especially long duration. Okay, the changes I'm about to make include corrections to this defective configuration file. This configuration file was actually made for an older version of MySQL. And when they updated the version, they kept the same old configuration file, so I need to make some fixes. I'm going to add these lines below here you can. I added these two lines and removed one line that was right over here. So now we have slow query log equals one and slow query log file equals this. And notice that I put it in the same place where Apache puts its log files because I want to go to only one place and be able to see all my log files. Here I am on the production server looking at my.cnf and I noticed that I did not maintain the same directory as was spoken of a few seconds ago. And the reason for this is I found out that in Debian, the MySQL slow log is managed by the system as far as I can tell. So I cannot just simply define it to be somewhere else and have it be able to work. For the next two changes at least, I'm going to just play the video. I need to uncomment the line long query time equals two. So I do a backspace. Now I'm going to search for key buffer. All right, there it is right here, key buffer. The search will find two things. Okay, change key buffer to key buffer size. Key buffer underscore size. Let's do a search again. All right, change that to key buffer size. Size. Now I'm supposed to do service MySQL restart. If I want a MySQL client on another machine, for example, my computer at home, to have MySQL root user access to the MySQL server on the production server, then there is a way to enable that using the procedure in my video which starts off with the words give root user of MySQL. I would have to follow those directions in addition to making the change to the bind address in the myconf file. Okay, I'm gonna have to go look for that video and then do the same thing I was doing with this video to that video. Okay, the next video I'm gonna make is gonna be about that last other video I just mentioned. It's gonna be about enabling MySQL Workbench to connect from my house to the server.